This movie will teach you how to edit your subdomain settings through your hosting control panel. Let's look at the three simple steps you need to complete to edit your subdomain settings. First, you need to log into your web hosting control panel. To do this, go to the control panel login link in the top right corner. Now, you need to fill in your account's username and password in the members area login form. First, enter the username and then enter the password. Now click the login button to jump straight to your control panel. Excellent, we have just completed the first step. Next I will show you how to open your subdomain manager. Once you arrive at the control panel homepage, look for the subdomain manager icon located in the site management section and click on it. You have just completed the second step. Now let's see how you can edit your subdomain's settings. Here you are in the subdomain manager section featuring all subdomains currently hosted in your account. To edit the settings of a particular subdomain, simply click on the edit icon on its right. This will take you to a control panel offering a bunch of options for editing your subdomain settings. You can first change the IP address of the subdomain using the IP address drop down menu. You can also point your subdomain to a specific web folder by specifying its path in the www field. If the destination folder is hosted on our server, you can select it directly by using the browse button. Now simply select the desired folder from the list and then hit the choose and close button to confirm your selection. Now you can see the address of the newly selected destination folder specified in the path of field. You can also choose the layout of the basic error pages. For this you have three options, the default error page, the regular Apache page or you can set your own custom one. If you choose to set a custom error page you can specify the path to it in the set error page field for each particular error page type. The next edit option includes activating or deactivating the front page extension support for your subdomain as well as the support for access and error logs records. If you want to have SSL activated for your subdomain, you can choose to generate an SSL certificate or upload a ready SSL certificate using the SSL drop down menu. If you decide to directly upload the SSL certificate, simply paste the contents of the first files sent to you by the SSL authority in the corresponding key certificate requests and CA fields. To save all changes to the default subdomain settings, click the apply button. A green pop-up message will confirm for you that the subdomain settings have been modified and you will need to allow up to 10 minutes for the changes to take effect. Let's look at the three and that's it. Now you know how to edit the settings of any of your subdomains. First, you need to log into your web hosting control panel. To do this, go to the control panel login link in the top right corner.